A nine-year-old boy who was shot in the leg in Tuesday's slaughter in Texas told his grandmother that the shots sounded like fireworks, she said in an interview. He says, it sounded like fireworks, grandma. It was in his classroom, she told KNS5. She said her grandson was scared after he was shot in the leg at Robb Primary School in Uvalde, but has already been discharged from hospital. He felt well enough to take a picture with the police officers who escorted him out, said the woman, whose name was not released that he just got released. Thank God, she said, relieved. It didn't go through a bone IT didn't do any harm, hopefully no nerve damage and all. But he's just been released and we thank God for that. She acknowledged that other families weren't so lucky. At least 19 children and a teacher died in the shooting. We pray for all the children kidnapped by this mass murderer. He took a teacher's life. And all of these families are at a loss for everything that happened, she told KNS5. The grandmother described the frantic moments when she and her daughter, the boy's mother, learned that the elementary school was being shot at, and then learned that the nine-year-old boy was one of the victims. She said it was like in a fog. I went to the civic center because my daughter was waiting for him, she said. I called her and said, there was a shooting at school. She was like, where? I said to Rob and she said, oh no. Mom, you know, her son. She ran away over there and I called her. She wouldn't answer me and I said, what's wrong? And she says, he was shot. And I took off, I didn't even know where I was going, she said. I was like in a fog. In the fog. I mean he's the baby. But now he's home. He will now go home and rest. She said her daughter broke down in tears when her son left the hospital. Uvalde a small, tight-knit town of about 16,000 people about 85 miles west of San Antonio, will recover, she said. This is a small town, a small community, she told the outlet. I know it will bring us closer and closer together. I just pray for everyone, I do, and I am so happy that my grandson is doing well. He's scared right now, he said he was scared, but he's fine. The gunman, identified as Salvador Ramos, 18, shot his grandmother before he crashed his car in front of the school, and stormed it with two assault rifles he recently bought for his 18th birthday, officials said. The killed teacher was later identified as Eva Morales. Ramos was killed by police responding to the shooting.